Hi everyone. We are in module one, lesson three, which is overview of Power BI desktop and walkthrough. I hope in the previous video, you understand what is business intelligence? Why do we need Power BI? And you also have downloaded the Power BI desktop, right? If you haven't downloaded it, please download it. Please uh, watch the previous video and download the Power BI desktop. So once you download Power BI desktop, what are the things you can see? So that is what we are going to discuss in this video. <clears throat> so once you um, once you download and install Power BI Desktop, you can see this screen. Okay, so this is the welcome screen. Got it. So you have to launch Power BI. Once you launch Power BI, you can see this welcome screen. So what are the things which are there in welcome screen? Is what the first one is get data. Okay, so this get data is used to import the data from the data source okay so this is get data this is the reason reason sources like if you have already used power bi and you have uh, those data there uh, or a pbix file you can see these are all the recent sources which i have already used it okay this will not be available if you are using it for the very first time so don't worry about it and the next one is open other reports if you want to open another reports other type of reports you can click here okay and in the center you can see a video okay this video is provided to us by microsoft itself like this is the tutorial video you can find it getting started with power bi desktop and these are all building reports query view uploading your report create a phone report so you can also click here to see all the all the videos which are provided to us by microsoft itself it's a microsoft tutorial and if you see the right side the top you can see uh, your name or whatever the name you, whatever the mail id you have used to log in the first name will be displayed here and you can see here so these options are uh, uh, clickable okay so you can see what is new if you wanted to see what are the updates which are happened in power bi so you can click here this will open as a website and forums if you wanted to join any forum if you wanted to uh, interact with the community people then you can just join the forum this is the power bi blog uh, if you wanted to see the power bi blog you can simply click here it will take you through it will take you to the website okay that is provided to provided to us by microsoft itself okay you can see the complete all these options are provided to us by microsoft itself and other than that what are the other tutorials if you click here you can see the complete tutorial from microsoft learn okay so this is what we'll be covering in our video series as well got it so this is what the um, uh, welcome screen here so once if you close this welcome screen you can see this in this is what the power bi desktop okay so what are there in power bi desktop so here you can see this is untitled that is we haven't saved our power bi uh, report so far so it is showing untitled and the left side and the leftmost you can see that we have three icon okay we have three icon here so what are the three icons this will be we'll be using it often okay this is one this the first one is what the report icon Okay, by default, your Power BI desktop will be in the report icon. Second, the second is the data icon. Okay, if you, whatever the data which you have imported, those data will be available there. You can click and see the data. And the third one is what the model. Okay, you can model the data. You can, if you have multiple tables, if you want to connect it, then you can see that. Okay, you can see that here you have a green color uh, highlighted. So it is what by default you will be directed uh, to the report icon that is the report. Okay, so this is what the important views. This we call it as a views, desktop views in Power BI, desktop views. Okay, so because these are all the key terms which you should know while we discuss okay if i ask you to go to the data tab then your data then you, you have to click here if i ask you uh, if i ask you to go to the modeling then you have to click here okay and if you see down you can see a page page one this looks like a excel page right in excel we have um, worksheets and everything uh, sheets will be there like that you have a page if you wanted to add an another page you can click here to add an another page okay this is the page 
and here you can see another thing which you can see is what in the right side you can see visualization so from here we will be creating the reports with lot of charts so by seeing this itself we can understand these are all the charts okay uh, stacked bar bar chart vertical horizontal um, map chart everything you can see everything here we'll be discussing about all these things we are just understanding what are all the possible options which are available directly in power bi and um, yes and on the top you can see we have a menu bar okay this is a file menu we'll be discussing about all these things so don't worry so file home this is a home tab and under the home tab you can see uh, various sub menus or ribbon so you can say anything so under home you can all, you have all these things we will be discussing about it insert we can insert uh, other type of visuals from here as well okay like buttons everything modeling view okay and help so we'll be discussing about all these things and here you can see the other thing which is directly available in the this is what the report page okay this is what the report area this is we also we can call it as a canvas you can call it as a report area okay this is what the exact uh, report where we'll be creating okay so here you can see a few options so first one is if you wanted to import uh, data from the excel you can directly click here if you wanted to import data from sql server if you wanted to paste data into a blank table or if you wanted to try a sample data set okay so all these these options is also available to us directly if you wanted to click here you can click here and make use of it okay so this is the over uh, walk overview of uh, power bi and most probably on the rightmost side on the top you can see that this is uh, where you have to log in okay so if you log in you can easily publish your data uh, that is you can publish your report so it is advisable to log in if you click here uh, it will ask you that is you can easily uh, uh, it will if if you haven't logged in for the first time it will show you the sign in page you can sign in okay so um you just try probably uh, the power bi desktop you can try it with uh, any mail id okay but if you wanted to access the free trial or if you wanted to get the complete thing we have to pay and use that we will discuss later okay this is what the uh, overview of power bi so how this exactly this power bi will work what we are going to do with the power bi okay that is what the other thing which you should definitely know so what we are going to do is what and this is what the desktop okay here we will be designing the um, reports and whatever we wanted wanted whatever the business insights okay bi is what business intelligence and business insights whatever we wanted to create it we will be creating in the power bi desktop so what happens after i create a power bi desktop okay once i created a power bi desktop okay so what we have to do is what this create once we created we will be publishing it into the power bi services okay we will be publishing it into the power bi services power bi services is what the main services where it's a cloud service okay we will be publishing it to the power bi service this is a cloud service and which is used to publish our power bi reports okay so why we have to publish our service publish our report so that everybody we, we can collaborate with our stakeholders or we can collaborate with your with our managers to show what is happening what happened in our report what happened in your business and how you can take some useful actions in your business okay and in between you will be having a gateways so you can use a gateway so gateway is on premises gateway we'll be using a power bi on premises gateway to keep data refreshed okay so we'll be connecting we can connect it to the on premises gateway okay if you want your data to be always uh, uh, active data if your data is active data what do you mean by active data so active data is like data which is coming directly from the server or which is coming directly from the cloud okay if you wanted to analyze the facebook data okay that is the active data uh, what is the uh, inactive data that is if you wanted to just uh, that is if you want to just analyze the excel data or uh, uh, no uh, csv data then that we call it as a inactive data so in order to access the active data okay if you wanted to make use of the active data and understand how uh, it, it works so we'll be using a gateways okay gateways we'll be connecting uh, 
between the power bi services and finally you can also we also have another option called power bi desktop uh, mobile services okay power bi mobile services so what is it power bi mobile apps so mobile apps you can even use mobile app in order to stay connected with the data everywhere whatever the changes happen you can also see it in the mobile phone so these are the architecture of power bi these are the components of the power bi so what i uh, uh, wish to say is what please just open the power bi go through what is happening in the power bi okay what are the options which are available in the power bi so that you will uh, get used to power bi des uh, power bi desktop because uh, uh, if whenever i am asking you to just to see this okay open this then you should be able to open so if i ask you to go and get the data then it will be available in the uh, home you can get the data we will discuss about the various type of importing option getting the data in the next video so you can see everything here this data will not be available because we haven't imported the data this role uh, relationship also will won't be available because we haven't imported any data okay so just go through this just to see what all the options available over there and we will see about how to import the data in the next video thank you take care bye bye